Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. So I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro for two weeks now, two whole weeks to the day. I've been using this each and every single day as my daily driver, sort of been using the 11 in between, but the one that goes in my pocket when I go to class, when I go to meetings, when I'm making YouTube videos, I'm using this phone right here. And I will say I'm pleasantly surprised by a lot of it. I'll also say that I think there are only two big reasons that you should upgrade to this year's phone. You've probably heard a lot of people talk about a lot more, but for me, there are two reasons that I tangibly enjoy this iPhone better than the iPhone XS that I had last year. And I think there are two big reasons you'll enjoy this phone in any capacity over the phone that you had before. Drop a like if you're excited for this video and hit subscribe for more because that does seriously help me out down below. And uh, let me know your thoughts about this. But I want to start off with number one. It's the obvious one. It's the one you've heard everybody talk about, the camera system. You got three lenses now, so three different shooting options. One set at a 2x zoom, one at 0.5 to pull you all the way out. Out. And in the middle is your standard just wide angle lens that's not super wide, it's also not cut too close. So three lenses is actually pretty cool because you can make one scene like this look like three different scenes. Same here and here. I've used this a lot actually and practically too. I'm not just doing this for fun and saying, I don't really need a wide angle, but I'm just using it because I have it. There are a lot of times when instead of scooting back into the street or getting into the environments around me where I don't wanna be, I can just zoom out optically on my phone. And don't get me wrong, I know the iPhone 11 has an ultra wide angle. It also has that standard angle lens as part of its two camera setup. But the magic seriously comes into play when you have the third telephoto lens. I've noticed especially when shooting video, you can turn one scene into three entirely different scenes, zooming in on things, zooming out on things, and you're not losing quality at all because you're essentially carrying three lenses in your pocket. And I honestly did not think I'd enjoy it as much as I did, and I was wrong. I, I really enjoy shooting video on my phone more so than I, I have in a long time. Now for quality of photos, Smart HDR is a little bit better this year. So when you have bright background, like a sky, bright environment, bright subject, that is a bit more balanced, but I've had a hard time actually comparing it to the old iPhone XS just because the, the differences there are all in the subtleties. Deep Fusion is actually one that you can see. So take a look at these images right here. If you have the iPhone XS or even the iPhone 11, and prior to iOS 13.2, that's gonna be coming out in probably around a month or so, you get more detail in medium light conditions. And again, that's something you can see when you really zoom in and look at it. Now, heading over to video, best 4K 60 frames a second uh, video I've ever seen on a smartphone. No cap, no question. Apple's done some great work here. Although I do wanna say that if you compare this to the 10R or the 10S, the iPhones from last year, I mean, the differences are sort of present, but for video, it's much harder for me to look at two side by side and easily identify, oh, that's from the new iPhone with two or three camera lenses, not from the 2018 iPhones. Overall, if you're a normal person, you're gonna enjoy the camera upgrades, but I don't think that they are as excessive or as totally present as people have been claiming, except for, for one mode, and that's night mode. Now, this one's ridiculous. I am in pitch black in so many circumstances, and my phone, while it is grainy as heck, is actually able to capture some detail from an image. It essentially boosts any possible light source in a room, whether it's a window with the blinds closed or a light that's being covered, uh, and the, the wonders it can work are indeed wonders. This has never been possible on an iPhone before. Google has had some similar functionality. Huawei, Samsung, they've also been working on their respective night modes. But if you're an iPhone user uh, and you do shoot a lot of photos at nighttime, this is ridiculous. Uh, and there's no other way to, to say that other than by showing you guys some of these night mode photos. Apple did a great job, and this is the big camera upgrade. Now for the second upgrade. The second reason that I think the iPhone 11 Pro is worth it is because of the increase in battery life. For a phone that is only marginally thicker and heavier, Apple has introduced what they say is four hours of additional battery life over the iPhone XS on the iPhone 11 Pro and five hours on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I have felt every single bit of it. Prior to getting this phone, my battery life on the iPhone XS, I would generally either have it die before the end of the day if I used it a ton and I'd have to charge it at some point, or I would set it on the charger around 10 or 20% regularly. Never in my history of using the iPhone XS, even on day one when that battery 
was perfectly fresh. Did I end the day above 30%? ever over the course of the past year. When I'm putting this phone on the charger after a full day of usage, I'm looking at 40 to 60% of the battery remaining. And that is not an exaggeration. I have never experienced this feeling where it's like, oh, if I forget to charge my iPhone, it's not gonna die by 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. or even overnight. For example, last night, the charging got messed up somehow, so it only charged like four or five percent. Uh, it's 1 p.m. in my time zone. I'm still sitting at 28 percent. I've heard a lot of people talk about, oh, my battery life's pretty good, or like it's been a little bit better for me, but based on my usage, uh, particularly, that's all I can speak about, the battery life has been almost twice as good in my experience. If I'm ending the day at 50%, previously I would end between zero and 10 or zero and 20. It's insane what Apple's done and that's due to the A13 chip inside and Apple optimizing the OLED screen. They've made so many optimizations across the board that have clearly paid off. I mean, a generation leap of four additional hours in Apple's marketing claims is something that doesn't sound real, but I can assure you it is real. For me, those are the two things that have made this phone worth it. That's what made upgrading even over the iPhone XS a significant upgrade for me and actually made me not feel too bad about buying a new iPhone this year, even though I had the one from last year. There's also some other cool stuff here as well. Like the back glass is frosted now. It's got a matte finish. Feels super good in the hand. I got space gray and I think in the light that looks incredible. You've got slightly better audio, although I think in most situations you don't really notice it unless you have a direct comparison, but the speakers do sound a bit more natural and balanced this time around. This supports the newest Wi-Fi standard. You have uh, audio zoom and video. So if you zoom in on something, it will actually pick up the audio better of what you're zooming in on and isolate everything else. It's also got a really fast processor. There are a lot of good things when it comes to this year's iPhone. For me, everything else sort of fills in the cracks where I would be complaining and saying, you know, I wish my phone had this, or I wish it had audio zoom and video. I wish it had better speakers. Apple's brought all that here too, but day to day, better battery life, better cameras. That's what's been carrying my experience with the iPhone 11 Pro. And I wanna hear your thoughts down below. So that's been my experience with the iPhone 11 Pro. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, if you learned something new, found this video interesting, drop a like down below to seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest Apple news. I'm gonna go make some calls on my fancy new iPhone 11 Pro and uh, catch up with you guys in my next video.